All right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. Today we are back out with the 243 again, and we're going to be continuing our little series on the Hornady 90 grain ELDX. These are the six millimeter for the 243 caliber. We'll be using H4350 today. In the last video, we used Shooter's World 4350, so we're going to see if this does any better. Our results in the last video was not as not as I planned. Uh, we had two groups that were just barely under an inch, and we had two groups just under an inch and a half. So I was really expecting them to do better, and we'll see what happens today with the H4350. Uh, we'll be using our Starline Brass. This is Once Fired Brass, and we want to thank Starline Brass for providing the brass for this channel. They have been a huge help for it in the past, and we're still using it. We have quite a bit of Starline Brass, and it's really good stuff. So for today's video, I already have our rounds loaded up, and I have our loads here on the side. We'll be doing... 0.4 splits starting with 42.2, 42.6, 43, and 43.4. We're using a 2.165 cartridge base O drive and approximately a 2.670 cartridge overall length. Everything has been double weighed like I've been doing in the past. If you haven't checked out the last video in this series, I urge you to view it first. I'll put a little card up above and I'll put a deal at the end of this, but I kind of get into the weighing the powder and seating the bullet and what I went through to shoot it. So this is a uh, Tuesday morning. It's about 56 degrees. The temperature's going up. It's gonna be up in the mid sixties again today. And then like yesterday, the wind is very calm. So it's gonna be really good conditions. I've already went out and hung up the target on the, uh, the backstop. So uh, all we gotta do is get everything outside and we'll be ready to go. Right, so we're set up outside. This is the Savage Model 12 FV and 243. It has a 26 inch heavy barrel and we are running a SWFA Super Sniper fixed 20 power. We have one inch dots at 100 yards. I will be giving you a view through the spotting scope like I've done in the past, and we'll see what we can do. We have uh, 20 rounds to shoot today, four groups of five. Uh, typically, I've been doing a couple warm up shots. I don't believe I will today. Um, the warm up yeah, shots of a 90 grain game changer on. or a 95 tip game king, and, um, or tip match king TMK, and uh, they're usually almost touching each other. So I don't see any point of using some warm up shots today. So uh, I'll get the. Uh, camera on the spot and scope and we'll get started all right we're set up let's get started 42.2 grains Like we've got a ragged hole i like that or did that one go high it went just a little bit high but yeah i'll take that all right up next will be 42.6 grains i apologize if the camera gets a little fuzzy i uh i'm trying to monitor it and make sure it stays in focus Another pretty good group. Looks like we had one flyer. May have been me, who knows, but we got another cluster of four all together right there. That's what we want to see. All right, let's go to our next five of 43 grains.
underneath the group. Looks like we've got three stacked together. One a little high, one a little low. All right, we are ready for our last group, 43.4 grains. like that group opened up just a little bit but not too bad of a day we'll uh, run down retriever target measure it out and see what we got all right we are back in and we have everything measured out and our groups are significantly better than our target yesterday starting out with 42.2 grains our little four shot cluster there was just under half an inch and the five shot group was 0.819 so we started off to an excellent start had similar results with our second group of 42.6. We had 0.487 on our uh, ragged hole there, and our outlying flyer was just over an inch. Jumping over to 43 grains, we had a 1.164. And if you look at that group, that is the exact same charge we shot yesterday, and the groups are just about identical. Our two little outlying flyers are a little bit farther apart yesterday, but pretty much the same result. We jumped up to 43.4, and our four-shot group there was 0.953, and the outlying flyer was 1.979. I will note that on that last group, I was seeing some mirage in the scope from the heat of the barrel. The barrel was hot, but not like burning hot. I could hold my hand on it, but there was significant heat in it. I was allowing two to three minutes between groups, and I just shot all four groups pretty much just with the little break in between them. So uh, we could have let that cool down. I think that's the point of impact shift that we're seeing right there is the heat, the mirage in the scope. So uh, pretty decent results. The uh, overall length can probably be tweaked on this a little bit to help improve the groups. Um, I'm using a cartridge base to ogive number that my rifle likes with the game changer. So that's just kind of what I went with. And I also went back in my data and I had some chrono numbers for these charges. These are some charges that I've, I run with the 90 grain game changer back in late 2018. And I wrote them down here. So uh, these are some ballpark velocities. They will not be probably exactly the same, but that's what I come up with the game changers. So that's about the range we want. Um, I was really happy with that first group and the second group. So uh, these, uh, these bullets seem to shoot all right. Um, the Shooter's World powder just is not as superior powder as H4350. It's, uh, I thought that might be a valid option, you know, for, you know, almost half price for, per pound, but it's going to be tough to beat the H4350. One other thing I'll note is about my rifle. This is the Savage Model 12 FV243, and it's getting significant rounds through it. I purchased this rifle used off a guy with an unknown round count, and since I've had it, you know, I've probably getting close to 1,500 rounds through it, maybe even upwards of 2,000. I used to shoot it quite a bit when I first got it. So a lot of people say, you know, a 243 barrel is only good for 1,000 rounds or 1,200 rounds, and it depends on how you shoot it. If you shoot them hot and fast, you'll burn a barrel out a lot faster. Um, mine's just bench shooting, you know, not fast, but uh, usually with cool down periods. But uh, this barrel could be getting closer to the end of its life. I still think it shoots decent. It seems like any time that it doesn't shoot good, you can kind of redevelop a load and find something that it likes, and you got some new life back in it. So that's kind of what I've been doing with it, and uh, it seems to be shooting pretty decent. I'll I'll, uh, I'll take those groups for the, for the age of the rifle. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. I had a lot of fun on this little two-part series comparing these two powders, H4350 and Shooter's World 4350. So uh, there's definitely a difference in them. The burn rate's slightly different, but I'm sure there's an application for this, but it is going to be tough to beat this. This is the tried and true, the proven powder, the unicorn powder that everybody wants. So uh, this powder performs. So if you haven't watched the first video, make sure you watch it. I'll leave a card at the end. I'm sure there'll be something in the description for you guys, but make sure you watch these two videos together and uh, I'll probably release them about the same time. So uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.